Good morning guys, happy Monday. It is 10.30 in the morning. Um, I set my alarm for nine and I woke up and I was like, okay, you have to keep your eyes open. Like you have to get out of bed so that you can get back on a earlier morning routine. No, I fell asleep again. Woke back up again, fell back asleep. I was so tired, could not get out of bed. Um, but today is, for some reason David has a day off today. I think it's like a family day or something. Um, I can't remember, but he's off today. And I'm just getting the dogs breakfast together. Uh, we got this from Costco. It's the Fresh Pet Grain-Free Chicken Spinach and Potato, and they go crazy for it. And this is like the only non-vegan thing that we get. Obviously our dogs are not vegan, so we get them this. I don't feel great about serving up chicken every morning, but the dogs love it. Um, and they have been, ever since we got this, they have been going nuts for their food. We used to do salmon before, but they would like get really tired of it um, and like stop eating their food. But with this, for every meal, breakfast and dinner, they are so stoked. I put a little bit of really hot water in there to warm it up and get the food, um, what's it called? wet obviously but like softens it and thickens it up a little bit and then I give them these Cosequin joint health supplement one each especially for Sky because she's getting old and after walks and stuff and after playing too much she like limps a little bit because her it hurts her legs oh I am so sore. I did a like leg and glute hamstring workout yesterday and oh my God, I am feeling it. today we are gonna go to the gym why won't this focus we're gonna go to the gym and then I think we're gonna do what we did last week 
and put like a meal plan together for the week. We were supposed to do this yesterday, but um, we actually still had some groceries and we just didn't, we didn't feel up to it. Like after we worked out and showered and everything, we just didn't feel like going, getting ready and going back out. Um, so today we might either go do that grocery shopping or we will go over to um, this place called Victoria Gardens that we really like. Go walk around, maybe do some shopping or something. We're not sure yet. Um, for right now, I need some caffeine. I need to go pick out a workout outfit. We just got our new phones in the mail. These are huge. David got the, what's yours, the graphite? Yeah. And I got the blue one. I don't know the exact color. Sierra blue. Sierra blue. Let's have a look, see. Ooh. Let me see. Oh my god, this phone is like the size of the first iPad that ever came out. <laughs> In comparison to my phone. I guess it's not that much bigger, yeah. but it is. I mean, it's pretty big. That is a huge phone. I am so excited about the camera, though. Look at that. It's powering on. Ooh. Fancy. Fancy. David's never really had a brand new phone before. Not since the iPhone 6. <laughs> <laughs> um, David's making us pancakes right now. He is the pancake maker. I make everything else, and then if it comes to pancakes, they make them. Yeah, because they're so difficult. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one that can do it. And then I put in a big order on Shein, but for some reason they like priority shift only this jacket. So let's see what it looks like. Oh. oh. Oh my god, it fits perfectly. That looks good. Yeah. Let's get a better look. My camera's about to die, but I'll show you guys this real quick. Oh, this is so cute. I got it for um, my trip to New Mexico. Obviously, like, layer, like, a hoodie and stuff underneath, but this is actually super nice. I think it was, like, maybe 20, 22, 23 bucks or something. Way nicer than I expected. Anyway, I need to switch out this battery. We're gonna have some breakfast. Very, very, very big. What do you have to say about that? What is it, Scott? Do you say ar? Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's a big pancake you got. Okay, well I'm stuffed now. And I need some caffeine. Oh my god. Like a really heavy breakfast. Think I'll be able to eat this whole thing? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, back from the gym, just got out of the shower. Um, and I just kind of like shaved my face a little bit and did uh, my hyaluronic acid and my vitamin C. But I wanted to try out the new um, e.l.f. moisturizer that I got. I was just not feeling good in the gym today. I did like 50 minutes on the treadmill. Just like, I could not do more than that. It was just a day where I was like, this isn't, like working out wasn't feeling good. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna use this Holy Hydration Face Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Complex. I've seen this all over TikTok and I've heard some good things about it. So 
Let's give it a try. It's like a thick cream. It smells really good, but not too, too strong. I feel like when things are super fragranced, I'm like, eh, like for skincare. Um, and this isn't too strong at all. A really, really yummy scent, but like super light. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that feels really, really nice on the skin. Ooh, that feels so good. It's like glides over your skin so nicely and the consistency is like in between the way like a little bit of like a serum or like an oil feels with um, like a thick cream. Wow, that glides so nicely over the skin. I bet makeup looks amazing on top of this. I like that a lot. Anyway, I'm going to um, kind of clean up a little bit. I'm feeling like a little cluttered and like dirty in the apartment right now. Like I know there are things that need to get done, like the dishes and there's laundry and like just this kind of stuff right here just like things out where they shouldn't be. Like we need to take some boxes out over there and I need to like finish up the laundry stuff and just like stuff on the counter. There's like clean clothes that need to be put away. You know what I mean? It's just like, it clutters me and my brain so much. And then I just start getting like really stressed out and it makes me feel so unmotivated to do anything else for the day. Cause I'm like, no way I'm gonna like go out and grocery shop or go do anything. It's not fun coming back to like a cluttered house. So I'm just gonna take a minute to clean up a little and then I'm gonna get ready for the day and I'll feel much better once this is tidied up. Okay, the lighting isn't like super great where I have the camera set up, but I wanted to show you guys um, my makeup so far and I'm gonna be using a couple of the things or actually all the things that I got at Target the other day, like makeup stuff. Hold on. Okay, I was running out of space on my camera so I had to delete some stuff, but right now I have um, foundation, concealer, eyes, bronzer, and I used, like you guys saw, the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream and my foundation on the top of it felt so good like it just went on so smoothly i do have some acne right now so my skin's not looking like totally clear but you know a foundation can only do so much and it like did the most i feel like especially with that and i think i mentioned it in the last vlog i've been putting on my foundation with my fingers like you know spreading it around my face and then blending it in and i feel like something about that makes the foundation look even better Anyway, I'm about to try the, where's the lighting the best? Up here, but I don't have a tripod high enough for that right now. Okay, let's just try this. Um, so I'm gonna do the, I usually use my e.l.f. putty blush, and I love this. 
Um, but I want to try this Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush. And I think I said in the video when I was like kind of opening everything up, like um, after Target that it had a peachy undertone, but it's more of like a coral. So let's see how this looks on my skin. I would normally do the cream blush and then top it with my Milani blush, which I absolutely love, but I just want to see this like on its own. So let's try it out. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so far so good. The pigment is really good. Like I barely tapped and it's really giving me um, some color already. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it that well. That's without, that's with, but in person you can see it a lot more. It's so pretty. Oh yeah, I like that. That looks really, really nice. What a beautiful color. Okay, so the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink was a great suggestion from Miss Megan Callahan. Okay, now I'm gonna try the Instant Lift Brow Pencil and the color Neutral Brown, what the tip looks like. Then you have the spoolie over here. So let's try this. Yeah, the blush color is really, really pretty. I like that a lot. I feel like that looks so nice. I could even do a little bit more. I've only been using Anastasia for years now, so. If this looks good, save myself like 20 bucks. Okay, so far so good. It's going on there really nicely and the color is really good. Okay, so with without obviously the color is good and yeah i mean i don't do a super structured heavy brow anyway so this is like perfect i think that came out really nice um i'm kind of feeling like super weird today i've been so sleepy i am on my period so that like does not help me i just like can't seem to get that like fiery motivation feel today and i don't know maybe it's the weather too it's like a little cloudy we woke up late so it's like later in the day i don't know you guys i'm just having a really i'm having a weird day where i just kind of feel a little off so hopefully like if we do the grocery shopping or we go to victoria gardens or whatever it'll just like help me and i'm hoping that just getting ready in general um, will help me feel a little bit better. Sometimes it does. Okay, so the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil is a win for me. I really like this. Now let's try the Wet n Wild Brow Obsessive Brow Shaping Gel. Um... It's coming off white, like I put a white cream on my... Okay, here we go. Maybe I just had, okay, I think I just had a little bit too much product on at first. And I need to get some of it off. Okay, it definitely works. Just, if you're gonna use this, get like as little product on there as you can because it does like come up like the white. Like it's this, it, that comes up on your on your brow, um, so. But once I kind of like played with it a little bit and got the product off the spoolie so much, it looks good and like you can see it gives you a good shape. Okay, so another win, I like that. The other product I was gonna try is the um, NYX Gloss, but we'll do that obviously at the end. And then just the classic e.l.f makeup set so um uh, mist set i'm gonna do my highlighter um mascara and stuff and finish everything and then we'll try those products once i'm done and then i'm gonna turn my curling iron on put some curls on my hair yeah it's already 2:45. like i said before it really wouldn't matter but this time of year since the sun goes down so early it just makes you feel like you wasted the day 
if you start late. So anyway, I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll show you guys what everything looks like and like the gloss and stuff once I'm done. Okay, I'm pretty much done getting ready. I'm going with like this skirt and a black button up and I'm gonna do like a big um, oversized leather jacket and black boots. But I wanna go ahead and try this lip gloss. Also, I don't know if I'm feeling this look and we'll possibly end up changing it as I like to do. Okay, let's see. Also, the way I lined my lips today was so uneven and messed up, but I, I can't fix it, so. Ooh. Oh, that looks so nice. Mm. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, I love this. That is amazing. So all the products I got, a win. Definitely, definitely recommend all the ones I can find. I'll put them in the description box. Okay, so I actually ended up going with this. I don't know if I totally love it, but it's pretty cute. So just some denim from Shein, and then these boots from Nasty Gal. This top, I think I found it like TJ Maxx or something, and then this H&M blazer with some big gold hoops. Yeah, my feet are definitely gonna hurt, but you know, sometimes you gotta have like a little pain to look good, okay? Um, but yeah, I am still kind of undecided on what I wanna do. I don't know, I don't know. I think I'll just stick with this. So we're gonna go over to Victoria Gardens and I don't know what we're gonna get into over there, but we need to go to Sephora and get some more skincare stuff from the Inky List and probably get dinner or something. Okay, grab one of those. We need the Q10, let's get a couple of those. And then I need the peptide moisturizer. Oh, you wanna go with three of them? Yeah. If you could ever possibly get it. <laughs> and then the peptide moisturizer. I know how cheap this is. I know. So good. Two of those? Okay. Look at that. <laughs> We just walked out of Sephora, and look at that. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you ever did see? Um, we loaded up on skincare and all the Inky List stuff. We got eight products for $110 for like all that skincare, which is wild. Wild. Just absolutely wild. Just wild. The Inky List is like so good because it's so freaking affordable. The most expensive thing we got was the Used to the People Kale Cleanser. That's like 36 bucks. Um, not outrageous, but it is a lot pricier than the Inky List, obviously. Now we're just strolling. Strolling. Okay, I'll see if you can find it in a minute. The linen is nice. No. What is it? And the oatmeal, performance everyday linen. I like that. These are all Basket weave and oatmeal. Let's see it. 
Gardens. We were in Fabletics. I think I got like a clip of me trying something on, but it was getting so hot in the dressing room. It was just, and I was trying to take photos of the leggings and the tags to keep up with everything, so I couldn't also like film on my camera. But um, I think I also got a clip in there of the Zara jeans that I got. And the Zara dressing rooms were closed, so I couldn't try them on in the store, but they were 50 bucks, marked down to 30 and in a size eight and zara runs like so freaking small so getting an eight was like kind of iffy i could have even gotten a 10 but the eight fit like really well um so i tried those on in the fabletics dressing room and i'm so excited because they're such a nice pair of <clears throat> denim um and i'm really really happy that they actually fit and for 30 bucks awesome they had a bunch of other stuff that i would have liked to <laughs> You guys just see me like squint like this. I was nervous of David switching lanes. <laughs> He's such a scary lane switcher. Um, anyway, they had a bunch of stuff, but once I saw the dressing rooms were closed, I put like all of it back and just got the jeans and was like hoping that they fit, and they did, and I'm so excited. And then we had ordered some stuff from Fabletics online, but our order got lost. Um, but it ended up kind of working out because when we were just in there trying stuff on, like David tried on the shorts. Do you know what kind they were? I tried on the one short and the fundamental short. The uh, one short and the fundamental shirt short, and he said that he really liked them. I do like them both. I love the one short and the fundamental short. It's also like really good. So now that's good to know because then when we order, like use the credit on Fabletics and order the stuff again, and he'll know what to order. Two different sizes into each of those shorts. So I wear, like, I need a medium in the one short, but I need a large in the fundamental short. So Interesting. It's good to try them on. And then I can't remember the name of both. I think one of the leggings that I really liked was the Trinity high waist legging. Like, that was so nice. And I was telling David, like, I almost prefer these leggings when I tried them on. I mean, I didn't work out in them obviously or like have them on for a long time but um just the feeling of them like I kind of prefer them over the uh lululemon leggings so the oasis twist sports bra is also something else I tried on and it was like the most comfortable sports bra I've talked about it on my channel before I have like a really hard time with bras and sports bras in general because my actual like cup size is really small but I have a really wide rib cage up top so just sometimes I have to get a large and then like it doesn't fit on the boobs I don't know so that one was like great and then the Trinity high waist where's the other one and the anywhere high waist legging all of those were just like amazing items and I can't wait to order some of them because yeah like the what did I just say the Oasis hi is that what I said no, I said something else. Shit, I already forgot. Which one? Anywhere. Yeah, the anywhere high waist legging. Those anywhere, felt. Anytime, <laughs> yeah, anywhere, anytime, anything, <laughs> anything, anything legging. Anything. Those were so freaking nice. Like they fit so well. Sometimes with the Lululemons, like I'll get like an uncomfortable like camel toe situation. Ladies, you, you know how it is, and it's just like I don't know. It, so it's like some days it's not so bad and some days it's like extremely uncomfortable and I'm like pulling out a freaking wedgie every two seconds. 
these leggings from Fabletics, they felt so nice. So basically what I'm saying is I'd rather go get leggings from Fabletics than go back to Lululemon. Um, so yeah, anyway, we are gonna head over to Monty's Burger now. We were gonna go home and make pasta, but I have been craving a burger all day long and Monty's just sounds so good. Um, tell them about the thing you're doing at work. Oh, it's like a, like a Biggest Loser competition. So I'm trying to get fat this week so that I can, <laughs> <laughs> so I have more to lose. I need more to lose. So I'm gonna eat a bunch of high sodium bad meals. Just get super bloated. Yeah, just what, get really bloated. Also, I, nobody get offended by us using the word fat. Like, he just means like, I just mean I'm going to not control myself. Yeah, and, and just not, like eat whatever and yeah. put on some pounds so that... I'm going to let myself go for a week. Right. That's what I mean by that. I know, but sometimes, and I, I notice that we like both do this, we'll be like, oh, like I'm so fat right now, or like I'm going to get so fat this week, whatever, but like we're both fit, healthy yeah. people, and it can kind of it's be all, like... It's all relative. Like, you can't no, even get... I know, food. but I'm just saying the word fat. Yeah. Like it can kind of just be a little, make someone else like feel really bad. I've always just been more than, I, I don't know, I've always thought of it as like, I only compare myself to myself. So when I say fat, I just mean like, then what, heavier than then what I am now. Best feeling, yeah. yeah. Exactly, so I don't, I try not no, to compare course. myself to like anybody else because of, of that. Of course experience. I know that. I was just thinking like in a video the other day, like I think we, one of us had said it and I was like, that, that probably doesn't make everybody feel very good. Yeah, I guess so. Or just yeah. the word, the word can be a little harsh. Anyway, that was just a little side thought. I was just saying it's sarcasm and a joke. I would say I'm not gonna get fat in the next four days. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to do is balloon up as much as I can. Balloon up! I like that alternative. I'm just gonna balloon up this week a little bit. Oh, I'm so ballooned up right now. It's wild. So that. Yeah, if you know our humor and our sarcasm, then there's no need for us to really explain anything we say, but just for those who do not. For those who do not. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go to Monty's and get a burger. You can't even see us. It's so freaking dark. see us. So when we get there, I'll show you guys what we order. It's gonna be the same thing that we order all the time. Oh, don't forget this time to get the habanero sauce because you always forget. And I'm reminding you, I'm reminding you now. I was forgetting, I was wanted. to plant power to get a dessert. We were gonna get, well no, David was considering um, getting a shake at Monty's, but they are like really big. And I just remembered that plant power has really good um, like vanilla ice cream cones and cheesecake. Monty's was so good, it hit every spot in my body, yeah. Except my feet still hurt really bad. Really These bad. shoes are <clears throat> uncomfortable. The shoes I'm wearing, I thought, um, I remember them being like not so bad. Unless you walk around in them in a t walk around in them a ton. We weren't gonna walk, be walking around too much. 
Um, but then I forgot that the last time I wore them was in Vegas when I was like shmammered, wasted off tequila. Shmammered. So no wonder it wasn't so bad. Shmammered. Oh, you're gonna do like a pickup? I mean, it's the same. I love a drive through moment. All right. I am basically just here to support David and his ballooning up. Ballooning you know, up. like, I am being such a good wife right now just by being here and supporting and saying, yes, I'll do it with you. It's important. It's important. Important. Importante. 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 Okay, see, they have the vanilla soft serve. Oh, they have. I might get a Buffalo 66 too. Are you kidding? <laughs> You're dirty. You dirty. Can we just get uh, two pieces of cheesecake, please? Yeah, and then uh, should we get a New York, New York, please? So get uh, ice cream too. The ice cream cone is really good. And then can we also get uh, one ice cream cone? Yeah. Right, cup. Yeah, that's all right. Phoebe, you look so cute. Oh my gosh. Are you excited, King? You look so adorable. I'm just a singer. I'm simple. Songs are not a real political man. I'm seeing it, but I'm not sure I can tell you. <laughs> Alright, we got a little ice cream, got a little New York style cheesecake with grand. Alright, alright, alright! No gluten added, non GMO, and it's vegan! And it's vegan! Mmm. God, I love that ice cream. Let's so have good. some of this. Oh, yeah. Use these plastic guys or get some real ones? Yeah, we can save these. Alright, save them. We already used the spoon, that's my bad. That one's on me. God damn, that ice cream is good. I know, ice cream is so good. Well, I haven't had this in a long time. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's way better than ours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our cheesecake tasted nothing like this. So good. Alright, we are going to be done for the night. Done for the night. I'm going to take the girls out. I got to take my makeup off and stuff, get in some comfy clothes, and then we'll probably watch some Homeland <clears throat> and go to sleep. But I will pick up my camera in the <clears throat> morning. I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. No, it's not true. I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. And we should actually figure out what meals we want. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning to you. It is 9.20. I actually woke up naturally at 7.30 this morning. I didn't get out of bed until a little past eight, but I've been up since 7.30. And it's only 9.20, you guys, and I've already made the bed. Not well, but I made it. I took the dogs out, gave them breakfast, and scrolled on TikTok for 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm accomplished. Alrighty. Um, I am making a little Celsius packet. Um, I will link these in the description box. We order them off of Amazon. And they're the dragon fruit lime ones, but I think they have other flavors. This hits differently than the actual Celsius can. For some reason, this one like hits me stronger and like just better. I don't know. Hits me stronger, hits me harder. I don't know. And they're a lot cheaper than buying a pack of Celsius at like the grocery store, unless you're gonna get it at um, Costco. 
but yeah, they're cheaper and they're just as good. So I am going to drink this, throw something small together for breakfast and then get over to the gym. And then today I need to like make a little grocery list, go grocery shopping, make a couple phone calls, and then also need to go over to the AT&T store because they had like a buy two, get one accessory free or buy one, get one free, something like that. And we need phone covers. So we're gonna go see, or I'm gonna go see if they still have the ones that we liked. I just want a clear one since the blue color on the new phone is so good. Um, review on the phone so far, absolutely love it. I thought I would hate how big it is, but I actually really like that. Um, when I was watching YouTube videos yesterday on the treadmill, like the screen is just so big. And I love how fast it goes between like screens and opening apps and stuff. And the camera is amazing. I used um, like the cinematic setting last night when we went to Monty's. And I'll actually put that video on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but it's just like so cool. The, yeah, the photo and video quality is amazing. Um, way better than my 11. My, did I have a Max? No, I just had the 11 Pro. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm really glad that I upgraded to this. All right, y'all, it is now two o'clock. I've been getting ready. Um, and now I'm making a grocery list. We need some more garbages. Got three cans of that. Um, what do we want to eat this week? Already... So tonight we can have. Do like a protein bowl, like air fried uh, tofu, potatoes, some mixed greens. I just plan on having like a bunch of salads and pasta, really. Yeah, and get just egg too. Okay. All right, got the list done. We're gonna go over to Sprouts, and let me show you guys my outfit for the day. I'm also gonna be wearing this bucket hat, but I was trying to let it. It was in a bag, so I'm trying to. Like, let it loosen up a bit. But I had this on. Let me show y'all. Okay, this is the fit. I have these um, trousers on from Shein, and then just my cute little Nike shoes. It has like a little pink, which matches my pastel pink top, which is from H&M. This is from Amazon, I'll link it below. The hat is also from Amazon, so. All kinds of kind of goes together and it has a little bit of color. I don't do a lot of color, but um, the pastels make it just still kind of neutral and not too vibrant, but I'm really liking the mixture of the pastels, which is super cute. Makeup came out good and I love a bucket hat. How adorable. So I'm going to have David help me real quick, um, get some photos and he's going to go to the gym and I'm going to go to Sprouts and then I'll come back and make dinner. Oh, I wanted to try on the Zara pants for you guys. I can do that when I get home. And then I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow actually. And in that vlog, I'm going to be going to, um, get my eyebrows laminated and, um, some lashes put on a local esthetician reached out to me and I'll hopefully have her introduce herself on the video. I asked, I told her I'd be vlogging and she's like, I might be a little bit awkward because she is probably not used to be on camera. A lot of people aren't. Um, but she reached out to me and basically is like gifting this to me. So in exchange of like, you know, for promotion and stuff, so I can post it on my Instagram. I'll post it on here. I'll put all of her information. So if you're like in the Riverside area, um, you could see her work and book with her. Um, so I'm going to start that vlog tomorrow and I'm also going to start like picking out outfits for my trip to New Mexico. So I already have like a couple ideas for stuff. Uh, but I wanted to like pick out outfits with you guys and you know pack for that trip together. Okay, I just pulled up to Sprouts and I was gonna film a little bit. Um, 
but I don't know. I'm feeling like super weird and like I can't focus or anything. So I think, um, probably, well, if I said I don't know why, then I absolutely am lying because I just realized, um, it's because I've had 400 milligrams of caffeine today and I'm like a little like dodgy all over the place. So I am going to put on my headphones and probably put on my ASMR playlist to like chill out or use my Calm app to chill and focus and get the shopping done. But I'll show you guys everything I get once I get back to my apartment. All right, I am back. We got some spring mix, baby spinach. I got the vegan buffalo chicken pasta salad, a little bit of that just to snack on right now. Some garlic hummus to make um, vegan ricotta. Daya cheese, just egg, Beyond Meat spicy breakfast sausages. This is all like the meat alternative type stuff. They had a sale on this Wicked Kitchen spiced amaze balls. David wanted to try those. They also had a sale on the Impossible Nuggets. And I got some high protein tofu, and then I got some organic extra firm tofu for the vegan ricotta. And in here we have some nori strips that goes in the vegan kale Caesar dressing I've been making. Vegan kale Caesar, it's not a vegan, the vegan Caesar dressing I've been making, that it needs that. Um, the vegan gummy foam tarts, so bomb. They had two for seven, so I got some hippies. I got the white cheddar and the bohemian barbecue. And then in here we have organic marinara. And then while I'm out of town, David's gonna be wanting to make himself pasta. So I got him a spicy one. He loves spicy pasta. Asian sesame dressing, my absolute fave. And then I got four cans of garbanzo beans. And then I got two things of basil. One is for my pasta bake. One is for the green goddess salad. And the chives are for the green, go green goddess salad as well. And then some green onions and kale for more salads. The most expensive strawberries ever, organic strawberries. Um, green cabbage for the green goddess salad. Potatoes. Mushrooms, I got organic mini portobello mushrooms. Avocados. Roma tomatoes an onion and a shallot. Where is he? Where is he? There we go. Oh, I did arms today. My arms are so effing sore. And that is everything. I need to clean some stuff out of the fridge and then put all of this stuff away. Um, but I am going to go ahead and close out this vlog here because like I've said, I'm starting another one tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure there was a lot in it. Um, so I have really been enjoying filming longer vlogs and putting out longer vlogs. And I think a few of you are really liking them as well. Um, so if you like this, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I am so dedicated to putting out as much content as I can this year, um, here on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. Like I really want to just push it this year, um, and try to grow this channel as big as I possibly can. So if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends and family about my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow.